let me know if this sounds familiar to you. You feel like you've done everything, but your schedule is still empty and you just kind of want to... You see other online teachers and they claim that they're getting bookings and some even say that they're fully booked, but no matter what you do, you still sit there looking at all of these empty spots on your schedule. I'm going to show you everything you need to know about getting a fully booked schedule if you're working for a company. So if you're serious about wanting to grow on the platform that you chose, make sure you watch this entire video. I'm telling you the exact recipe to the secret sauce of a fully booked schedule and the last part of it is a hack that almost no one knows about or no one is talking about. And by the way, this works for every company as long as the students choose their teacher. I'm Jillian and on this channel, I teach you how to grow your income as an online teacher. So light up that subscribe button and tap that bell notification if you haven't already so you don't miss future videos. I have worked for several different freelance online teaching companies and I've managed to get myself a fully booked schedule in every single company using what I'm about to teach you. And what's better, I've worked with clients who are also online teachers. I've taught them the things I'm about to teach you and they have been able to successfully get fully booked schedules by doing exactly what I'm about to teach you. I'm about to teach you all this for free 99 and all that I ask for payment is a like on this video. So if you've ever heard me talk about internal marketing, this is exactly what I'm talking about. The company has the students. You don't have to go out on social media and find them. You don't have to build an email list. You just have to tap into their students that they already have. You need to be able to get them to click on your profile and book a lesson with you. But how do you get them to do that? Number one, get in the head of your potential student. I want you to think about who you want to attract. Who do you want to click that booking button in the first place? What are they looking for and what can you help them with? And you might be thinking, duh, they want to learn English. That's why they're here on an English speaking platform taking lessons. Mm, yes and no. I want you to really, really think about what their goals are. They don't want to learn English to speak English. There's a bigger reason. Because you're going to use this to align your entire profile to them. It's not about you. It's about them and the results that they can get. At the end of the day, I hate to tell you this, but they don't care if you have a degree or a teaching certification, how many kids you have, what your pet is, or that you're a homeschooling mom. None of that matters to them. What they do care about is the result that they're going to get by giving you their money, by taking a class from you. If you're teaching English, for example, why do they want to learn English? There's a reason that they want to learn the skill that you have to teach them. Figure that out and it's going to be worth its weight in gold. Number two, your profile picture. Your profile picture is going to be one of the first things that they see and a lot of times the very first thing they see. But you want to optimize your profile to get them to click at it. This is super easy to do. I made up this acronym to help you remember it. Think of the word pick. That's easy to remember. Professional, inviting, clear. You want your picture to be professional. So I'm not saying you have to have a professional headshot that you got from a professional photographer, but it has to look professional enough. Inviting. So a smile is going to go a long way in letting students know that you're friendly and that the class is going to be a nice experience for them. A smile kind of like invites them to take a lesson with you. And clear, so you want it framed well. You don't want it so far back or so close. You want a nice picture quality and not a lot of background noise. I actually recommend to remove the background and just replace it with a solid color. This also makes it look more professional. And you should be the only person, you might think that teaching a group of students is a great picture to use because it shows that you're a teacher, but this is actually going to do a lot of damage to the number of people who click on your profile because they can't see your face, your smile isn't inviting them, they don't really know what's going on in that little tiny profile icon. So take a look at your profile picture and just give it a quick review. I have worked with teachers who couldn't get any bookings and by doing this simple change, they were actually able to immediately start getting booked by paying students. It's easy enough to do to change your profile picture. So if you're serious about wanting students, definitely make sure that your profile picture is up to par. So number three and number four, they all tie in together. 
Remember, you need to know why they would even want to book a lesson in the first place with you, and they need to know how you can help. Third thing you need to look at is the written part the written profile of your teacher booking page. So it's usually your teacher bio. This is so important. So if you look at a platform like OutSchool or AllSchool, they're actually gonna use this and pull keywords from your description that are going to make classes pull up in the search bar. So when you write this, make sure that you're using some of the keywords that they might be actually typing into the search bar. When you first start writing your profile bio, you're gonna want to hook them. Do not start your bio talking about yourself. I know that you're awesome and you're a great teacher and you have a ton of qualifications and experience, but they don't care about this. As mean as this might sound, you don't really matter. What matters to them is the results that you can get them. Remember, they don't care about you. So start your profile with a hook. Get them interested to read more. You can ask a question like, is your child struggling with math? Or maybe a powerful statement. After your hook, you're going to back it up. Tell them more about your lessons and your teaching style and what results you can get them or their child by enrolling in a class. Remember who you are trying to attract and what they want to learn. Go back and read it when you're done or have a friend read it. Make sure that it really speaks to the person that you want to enroll in your lessons. The next thing you should do is type out the written testimonials you have from previous students. Reading reviews has such a powerful impact on student conversion. They know that other people have done it before and liked it. And don't forget to tell them in your bio to book a lesson. Like, yes, I know they're there to book lessons and it sounds silly, but by telling them to book a lesson, it actually works. It's going to improve your conversion of people that look at your profile. Number four, this is the part that everybody hates, the intro video. But I'm going to help you out here and make this part a little bit easier. So again, I want you to go back to thinking about who you want to teach and what their goals are and you're going to make your intro video for that person. Everything in your intro video should be speaking to them. If you're teaching young kids, for example, you might want to be dressed up colorfully, have a bright background, or use a toy in your intro video. If you're teaching business professionals, you might be wearing a suit, or at the very least, be in business casual with your hair done nicely, you might have a plain background, or an office setting looking background. And the way that you talk should reflect who you're teaching. If you're teaching a pre-K class, bring on the energy. But you don't want that same goofy energy with high schoolers or business professionals because that's that's a little weird. So what you did in your intro video is going to be very similar to what you did in your teacher bio. So many teachers start their intro video the same way. Hi, I'm Jillian. I've been teaching English for five years. I'm TESOL certified, have a degree, and live in the US. That's a US flag. Remember, they don't care about you. They care about what they're going to get out of this. This video isn't about you. So you're gonna start your video with a hook. You can get as creative with this as you want to, or you can just ask a question or make a statement. Think of your intro video as a commercial for your classes, because that's pretty much what it is. It's a little advert that's encouraging them to book a lesson. And at the end of the video, don't forget to tell them what to do book a class. Okay, what do you think so far? I'm not done, but let me know in the comments if you learned anything new here. Are you ready for this secret hack? This one is gold. I haven't heard anybody else talking about it or teaching this one, and very few teachers know about it, so I might be letting you in on the biggest hack, the biggest secret that there is. Change your name to include a keyword. Your name's not just Joe Smith anymore. But by doing this simple hack, you can make it so that when they search for, say, creative writing classes, they type in creative writing classes and you're one of the first things that comes up because you actually have that keyword in your name. Keywords are important. You want keywords to be in your name, your description, and your class titles and descriptions. Basically, anywhere that you can get a keyword in naturally, put a keyword in there. By the way, if you are tuning into this video and you aren't yet in our Facebook community, be sure to join us over there. 
Our Facebook group has over 36,000 online teachers just like you, and we're constantly sharing tips and tricks, job opportunities. We're doing lives with experts in the field. It's a really cool place to be. So click the link in the description box. Come join us and come say hi. I really hope that this video was helpful to you and that you were able to learn some new tricks to get people clicking on that book button. By the way, I know intro videos are really tough. If you are ready to make your intro videos the best, go ahead and click on this playlist.